Hey guys, uh, let's do a little bit of science. So today we are talking about how heat affects the three different states of matter, so solids, liquids, and gases. Uh, so let's get to it. First one we're going to start off with uh, is liquids. So I filled this Erlen Meyer flask up with water, gave it a little food coloring because, well, give it a little bit of flair. Uh, we put a stopper in there so nothing can go in or out except through uh, the glass tube. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and place it on our element. We're going to heat it up and give it some time and see what happens. Now, once again, we talked about how there is a lot of particles inside that water. There's a lot of mass. So it will take a little while for that to heat up. So what we're going to do while we're waiting for that is we are going to jump over to the solids. This also takes a little bit, so we get a little bit of waiting out of the way for both. So we've got our brass ball and ring. What we end up doing, brass ball fits through. Uh, no tricks. I'm not a magician by any means. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take the brass ball, place it over our alcohol burner, and give it a few minutes, and see what happens. All right. While we're waiting for this to heat up, what we can actually see, if you look closely at uh, the Erlenmeyer flask, is that the water is creeping up uh, the glass tube. So, what that seems to show is that when you heat up a liquid, it expands. Now I'm wondering how far it will continue. We will stop before it overflows. Uh, but I'm going to let that heat up to see if we can get it all the way up there so it's easier for you guys to see. All right, so um, hopefully I've heated this up enough, up enough. So, but if we look, we can see that the liquid or the water inside the flask continues to expand. Uh, it's pushing its way up uh, the glass tube. So we'll probably have to take that off there in a minute. Uh, so if we take the, the brass ball, it no longer fits through the brass ring. So as I heated this up as well, it seems that it expanded. But if I end up cooling it off, so I place it in the water. My favorite part of this experiment. Love that sound. All right, now I've cooled the ball back down. And once again, fits right through. So if we heat up the brass ball, it ended up expanding so it wouldn't fit through the ring. And then once again, it, once I cooled it down, it fit through again. All right, and our last one in the Florence flask is gas. So, add some hot water. What ends up happening with the balloon is, left it, it's deflated. As I warm this up, there is nowhere else for the air to go. So as I pour the hot water over top, the balloon also ends up filling up. So, very similar to the water, what ends up happening is as the air particles are heated up, they expand, pushing their way out the top, and the only way for it to go is through the balloon. Now, that water is quite warm, however, I do have Nice little ice bath over here. And if I take some of the water from there, and so I heated it up, air ended up expanding, place it back into the cooler water. second and once again the balloon deflates so as I heat it up it ends up expanding as I cool it down it ends up shrinking now the reason for that as we've learned in particle theory is heat is energy so as we heat something up it gets more energy those particles start to move faster and faster and they're not able to stay as close together so what happens is they end up moving further and further apart meaning whatever the object is so whether it's a uh, bunch of liquid, some gas, or a solid, 
it actually expands and gets larger. So, take this information, use it to fill in the worksheet, and we'll talk to you next time. See ya.